Hey guys, good morning and happy Saturday to you. This is Kim, Independent Designer with Chalk Couture and Chalk is Chic. I'm going to get this pulled up really quick so I can share it over onto my VIP page. And we are going to have fun chalking this little cute cutting board this morning. Um, as you know, all of the surfaces that were ordered um, finally came in yesterday. Super excited about that. And not only that, but they are darn cute. I absolutely positively love them. And you can fit most size A surfaces on here. Um, and then all of like the sassy kitchen sayings, all of that. So we're going to do this little cute one um, that is part of our stories collection. It's farm collection, feels like home. Um, and it is just adorable. So you can add your flair if you want to, um, if you want to add ribbon, if you want to add different things to it. But this is just a really simple, cute transfer. Once you get that done, you can actually display it in like our easel. Um, very, very easy to do or hang it up on your wall. So first things first, so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves because we want to follow what Chalk Couture recommendations are. And on all of our wooden surfaces, you will get these amazing instructions. And on those instructions, it tells you that you're supposed to use Chalkology paste with it. Make sure you fudge your transfer really well. But this most important line, wax before using. It is considered a one-time use surface. So once you chalk it, it pretty much is done. However, I will tell you, like I've told you with many other things, this is a decorative piece only. It's not meant for a cutting board, like for you to actually cut and chop cheese on or serve food on. It's decorative. So if push came to shove and you decided later on you wanted to do something else, you could erase your paste um, using a board eraser and wash that paste off, let your wood dry, repaint your surface and be able to reuse it. But right now we're going to use our surface wax and we are just going to take a lint-free cloth, just a tiny smidge of wax, and we're just going to buff over our surface. Remember that we wax for two reasons and two reasons only. That is to protect our transfer from sticking to the surface, overly sticking, and it is also to help paste adhere to the surface. So we're going to be using bright white Chalkology paste and we're also going to be using Golden Hour. Golden Hour is one of our brand new um, colors from our In Vogue color collection. So we're going to be using both of those. And I'm actually going to use just a slight spritz of water in this white. It has, my chalk paste did not get any love while I was on vacation, surprisingly. No chalk fairies came. So just adding just a small spritz to this white. Okay, so we're going to take our transfer. And first of all, we're going to fuzz. Fuzzing is part of what we do for our brand new transfer. So we want to fuzz a couple of times. And we do that so our transfer loses some stickiness, but not all stickiness, but where it doesn't over stick to our surface. So we're fuzzing, fuzzing, fuzzing. We've already waxed our surface. The other thing that you do want to make sure you do is just kind of go over it real quick, a nice little buff. And make sure you don't have any freestanding wax. We're going to take our transfer and line it up. This is such a little cute one. And y'all know me. I'm not a big um, not a big chicken person or a farmhouse person. But this one is still uber cute. So we're going to take our golden hour paste first. Our creamy dreamy paste. And I'm going to use our multi-tool. And just go ahead and chalk our little chicken, our rooster. I'm not even sure which animal it is. That's how unfamiliar I am. We're just going over this little bitty section. Again, just squeegeeing on and squeegeeing off. Making sure all of our little areas are covered. And we should be fine to keep on chalking. Um, I am just going to lift really quick and let it fall back down. 
I'm going to go over my letters just to make sure that we are great and pushed down. It feels like we are. And we are going to take our bright white Chalkology paste and just squeegee on and squeegee off. Again, this um, little design on our cutting board. The cutting boards are super cute. They are decorative only. So don't think that you're going to make a little cheese board and serve it. You don't want to do that. Um, it is decorative. However, it is also double-sided, so you can do something on one side. Um, do something kind of Christmassy or Easter or whatever the season is on the opposite side. And have fun with it. So we're right here in a pretty tight spot. So what I'm going to do is convert over to either the detail tool or the multi-tool. We'll probably use the detail tool here. And we're just going to squeegee on and squeegee off what little bit we have left of this cute little transfer. Not much, making sure all of our little spaces are covered and we are golden so we can go ahead and finish with that chalk pull. This is just a super, super cute example of all the kinds of goodness that you can have using our cutting board. The cutting boards are super cute. They're $9.99 retail. Remember, they are double-sided. So you are getting the best bang for your buck because you are getting two surfaces for one. Um, and then the other part of that is we did discuss this at the very beginning. Let's say you want to change it a year from now down the road. Even though it is a one-time use surface, you totally can use a board eraser wet your board, wash off your Chalkology paste, let your board dry, and then you could paint it or stain it a different surface color and um, be able to reuse it. Super duper cute. We could add whatever elements we want to. I'm a pretty simple girl when it comes to that kind of thing, but it looks really adorable in our little easel and um, would stand up perfectly on its own, or you could hang it on a wall. But that is our little cute short demo for today. Back at it, back in the saddle again, guys. Um, it feels odd coming back after vacation, but I am super excited to be here. I look forward to talking with you again on Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. But otherwise, I hope it feels like home this weekend and y'all get to spend time doing things that you love to do with those people that you love to spend time with. I will talk with you soon. Thanks for watching.